what's up guys um i have been away for a while and now i'm back um <laughs> that's what i have to say about that and moving on this is another what i ate today video except it's two days long because um i don't really have a reason for that it's just two days long instead of one day so double the fun double the sun and um t this morning i made to uh, toast with the biscoff cookie butter and chia seeds on it and also an orange um i'm gonna be honest this bread isn't good um my mom bought it for because we had people at our house and she thought it was going to be like one of those um sweet type of breads like a cinnamon raisin type of thing um it just tasted like sourdough with dried fruit in it um but with this cookie butter which is about too sweet was able to balance it out and um i'm so ashamed of this shot right here all of it's just ugly it's unfocused and the coloring is just gross i updated final cut pro and i don't and all my um coloring presets have been they're gone i don't know how to get them back if anyone knows how to get them back um let me know i could also google that i guess I'll just Google it. Don't worry. It's fine. And then for a snack, I had some of my mother's caramel corn with pecans. Um, usually she makes it with peanuts, but sometimes she makes batches with other nuts for people with allergies. Um, and it's really good. Maybe I'll do a recipe video someday. I probably won't, though, because um, let's be honest, I never do anything that I say I'm going to do. Um, and then for lunch, I had leftover pasta spaghetti with uh, meatless meatballs from Trader Joe's. And also that's... Um, leftover green bean casserole from Christmas. Oh yeah, this video was filmed like the week of Christmas, so don't think that I'm keeping food for that long. Um, and then this is when we had people over at our house for the night, and so we had chips out. That was potato chips and pita chips. This is a spicy hummus. And this is a regular hummus. Uh, probably garlic flavor or something. I don't know. And um, this is a pineapple si cider um, that I drank. Uh, as I was filming this, well, I was, like, you know, filming everything that I was eating and drinking because, you know, that's what this is. And then I go outside just thinking, like, okay, I got to film my drink that I'm going to drink. And then as I was filming it, I was like, this is really weird. I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever show alcohol in, like, a what I ate in a day video. And I was like, that's really weird. Like, I don't know. I, I thought... And I was like, are people going to, like, judge me? Is this, like, weird? I don't know. But it was good. It was uh, really sour, really pineapple. It just tastes like pineapple juice with some carbonation and, like, a tiny bit of alcohol. Um, it was good. And uh, we had asparagus and mushrooms. Uh, and my Aunt Heidi made carrot cake. Um, this is actually from Christmas, but we were just still eating the leftovers. And the recipe will be in the description. Um because she i asked her to send it to me and then also this is hot and spicy snack mix and some peanuts that i was just snacking on uh casey came over afterwards and we ate some of this clam jumper pie uh clam jumper has a dutch oven or dutch pie, i don't know some they have two apple pies and this is the lattice apple pie um, and it's really good. It was just like a frozen pie that you can put in the oven and it's vegan. And I think my mom bought it at Walmart. Um, so we're looking for like a cheap and easy vegan dessert option. And we put some soy vanilla ice cream on that next to it, whatever. Um, and that was that day. And then the next day for breakfast, I had some cereal. This is kind of just like a garbage plate, garbage bowl of cereal just dump all the cereal that we had together i don't i just wanted cereal that was all and so that's yeah kosh you saw it all it's kashi something berries and granola and peanut butter puff balls and some soy milk and that was my um oh so nutritious delicious breakfast um and yeah um I guess I didn't eat lunch. I think, oh, okay, so this day, um, we were taking my brother and his wife to the airport, um, at, like, four in the morning or five in the morning or something, um, and then 
when we got home, I just slept for like a lot more hours and then um, had breakfast around like almost at lunchtime and then I just didn't eat lunch and then I went to a party and had um, potato salad that Casey made and brought. Um, it's from the savoryvegan.com and it was really good. Um, people liked it. And I also brought the leftovers of this chocolate cheesecake that I brought to Christmas and this key lime cheesecake. I think the chocolate one is a lot better than the key lime one just so you guys know and so did my cousins cuz cousins Ugh. and then we went to this place called sweet life um it's in campus point by fresno state where i live and um it's a cute little place it used to be tapioca express um and then it changed i don't know when i just went one day and it was different <laughs> but um they have a lot of cool options, and as you saw, they make them with um, dairy-free creamer, which is really cool. Um, I don't know why the boba is green. Someone can explain that to me, maybe, if you know more about boba than I do. So, I don't know if that's, like, a different kind of boba or what. Uh, I don't know. Different way to cook it. I don't know. Okay, so, um, this is embarrassing, and I'm the worst YouTuber ever, but, um, there's another, look what I got in the mail, from way too long ago. I feel really bad, and I don't really know what to do, how to go about this, but, um, I was contacted by this company, Prestige Pack, a while ago, and, um, they offered to send me some of these things, and, for, uh, for me to shout them out and I was like you know what sure I'll try it out and then they didn't really give me a date that I had to do it by um so I didn't do it like right away and I forgot about it and then their kickstarter I was gonna shout out their kickstarter but then their kickstarter I guess ended I wasn't aware that kickstarters had a like time limit <laughs> I thought they just went on until they were filled. Well, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> um, so the Kickstarter's ended, so I don't know what I'm shouting out, but um, these exist and I have them, and I think they're pretty neat. So I'm just gonna show you. If this doesn't help them, then that's really sad, because I guess I don't know how it would, but um, I don't know. Our contact between each other was a little weird, so. I don't even know if they know who I am or if they even remember offering them to me. It didn't seem like they really like personally chose me. Um, it was kind of a weird interaction. I didn't explain what it is. This is a trunk organizer. There's three of them actually. This is like small, medium, large. They're, they're, they're vegan leather and the bottom of them Velcro so that it sticks to the bottom of your car trunk so it doesn't move around. And they have handles on the top and they have pockets on the side. They showed them for a bunch of different stuff. They showed one person like putting together a bunch of picnic stuff inside of one um, and then bringing, you know, taking it out to the picnic. And then they had one where the girl was using the bottom one and she just filled it with all her grocery bags so that they were like, you know, lined up instead of like rolling around in her um trunk and i imagine if you had a watermelon that you were driving this would be cool because you could just put it in here it would stay put sort of um so yeah i don't know like i've had these for a while and i just keep forgetting to put them in a video um because obviously it doesn't go with my channel at all <laughs> besides the fact that it's like vegan leather if i did like car vlogs that'd be kind of cool maybe i should start doing car vlogs so it can get more car items just kidding that was a joke but yeah i don't really know what to do what to say but this exists and it's pretty neat but honestly like this is pretty cool but i just don't know what to do so i'm still gonna link the kickstarter and i'll link like their facebook page and stuff so i don't know give them a like on facebook oh my god please stay there I look like Veruca. Is that her name? Which one's the one that turns into a blueberry? Okay, guys. Um, I'll see you later. 
season's greetings from the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. Where is your head? Thank you.